All right, now we're getting into trigonometry. Trigonometry is one of the most important things on the exam. You're going to see lots of problems on trigonometry. Trigonometry was invented by Euclid and some other ancient Greeks. It's very commonly used in carpentry, architecture, and various other disciplines. There's some things that are important to know. There's 180 degrees in a triangle. The area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. A right triangle, you need to know the Pythagorean theorem, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, and it's very important to remember your rules for exponents and roots when you're doing this, when you're solving the Pythagorean uh, theorem related problems. Okay, so trigonometry is all about triangles. It's very, very important in mathematics, and you're going to see a lot of it on the exam. So let's look in the bottom right hand corner and we have a diagram of a triangle there are some symbols I want you to be familiar with and some words we don't really get into a lot of trigonometry on the exam but we do get into some of it when we see the opposite the hypotenuse and the adjacent when we talk about sine and cosine and things like that that things of that nature would utilize those extensively it's really not on the exam very much but it's important to know Okay, in case you go on to have to do any further mathematics at a collegiate or in a vocational or training program, if you do carpentry or something of that nature. Okay, one of the other things on that triangle I want you to notice is it's a right triangle. A right triangle has a right angle. A right angle is two sides perpendicular to one another. So they intersect kind of like a, a T or an L. Uh, that's a right angle, and that's denoted, that's signified by that little square. And a right angle is always 90 degrees, okay? So I'm going to give you some common right angle ratios. Again, this is very, very important. When you see these ratios, you could fig it, it's, it makes it a lot easier to figure out the length of sides of the triangle, angles in the triangle, various other ratios because there are often direct ratios between the length of sides and angles. So some common right angle ratios are 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 5, 12, 13. Remember, like I said, right angle triangles have a 90 degree angle. So if you see 3, 4, and there's a fifth side, that's prob probably the hypotenuse, that would be 5. And going back, See the hypotenuse? That's generally the longest side. That's also, when we do the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse will be C, and the opposite will usually be A, and the adjacent will usually be B. Okay, let's do some elementary reinforcement. This goes back to what I was saying, trigonometry. Even though the, you don't see any triangles here, this is still a trigonometric problem. You may not see it immediately, but don't worry. Triangles can be used to solve a variety of other problems in geometry and tons of other mathematics. What is the distance from the bottom left corner of the base to the top right? Okay, I'll give you a moment to pause it. Remember, you can press space bar to pause at any time. And you see the lengths of the sides. One of them is 10, one of them is 24. Okay, I'll give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, we're back. So let's draw a line to make two triangles and use the theorem or recognize triplets. Remember we had those triples? Remember I told you that those ratios were important? You didn't believe me. Remember the three, four, five? What were those other two? You should you can rewind if you want to. Or you could solve it using the Pythagorean theorem. So, we'll solve using the Pythagorean theorem first. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And we have, we drew the triangle, so it's 10 and 24. So C squared, the hypotenuse, equals 10 squared plus 24 squared. C squared equals 100 plus 576. C, 
And we're taking the root of both sides. We take the root of c squared, it's c. We take the root of the other side, root of 676, it gives us 26. So the lengths of our triangle are 10, 24, and 26. And since I bisected this neatly, and the opposite sides are equal, obviously the 26 will also be the same as the diagonal for the other side. Now, let's look back at those triples that I mentioned. Half of 10 and 24 is 5 and 12. Now, seeing as how it's a right triangle, if you used ratios, do you remember ratios? You were wondering, oh, I'm never going to use a ratio again, Mr. Murdoch. But the hypotenuse is missing. Now, if we multiply 13 by 2, we come up with 26. We plug that in, and we didn't even have to use the Pythagorean theorem. That's why these triples, and I'll put them back up briefly, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 5, 12, 13, are very important. If you see one of these ratios in a right triangle, you may be able to solve it very quickly without using the Pythagorean theorem or doing any mathematics. Okay, let's talk about some angle terminology. You will see some of this on the exam. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. You see I have a cute little diagram over there. Acute angle. See how it's tiny? That's one way to remember it. An obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees. A right angle is a 90 degree angle. A straight angle or a straight line is 180 degrees. Lines that are perpendicular meet at a 90 degree angle. Lines that are parallel never intersect, like railroad tracks. When, you say, when I say parallel lines, think about the two sides of railroad tracks. Okay, and I'll leave this up a moment if you want to look them over, and you could press spacebar to pause at any time. Now let's look at an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle, all angles are equal to 60, and because of this, all sides are also equal. It'll look something like that. An isosceles triangle, two sides or angles are equal. An isosceles right triangle, which is a specific type of right triangle, has two 45 degree angles in addition to one 90 degree angle. Again, it's important to remember the ratios because if two sides are equal and there's two of them are 45 degrees and one of them is 90 degrees, then the sides might be something like 336 or something of that nature. Remember, these, these things correlate. Okay, and I'll see you in the next lesson.